There were a lot of special moments of 2022, particularly in pop culture. The box office left a lot of really interesting things for us to talk about. The streaming side of entertainment left a lot of funny things for us to talk about. We'll go over some of them, and then we'll go into a company getting rid of some baggage that was only going to hold them down. But there was a lot to talk about when it came to 2022. Top Gun doing really well and destroying every woke movie was pretty hilarious. That had people screaming that that movie did well. They didn't like that it did well because it, it's a patriotic movie. Uh, the Halo series tanking, Obi-Wan tanking, bros going belly up, uh, Megan and Harry destroying their brand, Jennifer Lawrence, of course, destroying her brand, uh, the AOC climate change documentary, which was a huge disaster, only making like $15,000, and it took years to make that, She-Hulk, the most expensive troll in history, uh, Dave Chappelle winning was a great thing. J.K. Rowling, of course, I've been talking about that stuff with Hogwarts Legacy. The Witcher going down in flames. Uh, there was a lot that happened. Rings of Power might be the most cost, uh, costliest mistake in history. Uh, Disney effing around and finding out. ISOM winning big. That was a, a great thing that happened. Uh, that's still there's still a lot to talk about with Isom. Uh, that was a huge win for Eric July and for uh, the Iron Age of entertainment, as people have been calling it. I like that name, the Iron Age. We have to strike our own. I like it, making our own stuff. I'm trying to jump in on the Iron Age this year, actually, with my own comic book, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, you know, seeing what Eric July did and what a lot of people in CG are doing, I think, is uh, very promising. And, you know, I, I, I think all this stuff is good. We need our own culture, counterculture. So, a lot, of a lot of funny stuff that happened in 2023. I think some companies might finally be learning, though. And I'm going to tell you why. I saw this, and I thought this was pretty, pretty funny. I completely forgot about it. And it looks like everyone else is going to forget about it because it's been canceled. The Expendables, female-led Expendable spinoff, dies in development hell. But it's been officially squashed by producer, producer Jeffrey Greenstein, and he explained why the movie is now officially dead. So a movie nobody asked for. Nobody wants to see an all-female Expendables. If you really want to, Put one of them in the actual movie. Wasn't Gina Carano in The Expendables? I don't remember if she was or wasn't. Um, you know, put her, hire her and put her in The Expendables. Everyone would love that. If you really want to have a, a, a female action star in the movie, just put her on the regular team, like Mil, uh, Mila Djokovic, if that's how you say her name, the the best role that I can think of for her, in my opinion, is the fifth element. Uh, you want to put her in the regular Expendables movie. You don't need to make, you don't need to make a spinoff that's all female. It doesn't make sense. The synopsis for the movie sounds like shit, by the way. When American Navy SEALs are wiped out trying to penetrate the island layer of the deadly despot, was captured one of the world's top nuclear scientists. It becomes clear that there is no such thing as the right man for the job and that this is a mission so impossible that only women can handle it. The only way in, some of the world's deadliest female operatives must pose as high-class call girls shipped in by private plane to satisfy a dictator and instead save the scientist and the day. So they have to send in men or women as call girls. <laughs> that would have pissed people off. Why can't they just be regular soldiers? Look, this movie would have been a huge L. It, it's, it reminds me of that Ocean's Eleven spinoff that was all females. 
Uh, that thing bombed. You had that Charlie's Angels reboot that was woke. That thing bombed. You had that Agent 37. I can't remember the name of it, but it was all female spies. Uh, that movie bombed. This movie would have bombed also. I'm not saying you like if you really want to do this, you could still do the regular Expendables movie and get like Mila Djokovic and Cameron Diaz to be in it like they have here. And they can work and infiltrate and then find a way for the other guys to get in like that. You could do this movie and still call it Expendables 4 and not have it be all female. You know what I'm saying? Like that sounds like a better idea, but maybe that's what they're going to do. All I know is this has been canceled and that was the smart idea to do. Like, Canceling this movie was smart. They're going to save money now. So here's what's been said. Uh, we also like working with the same people. So we did Till Death with Megan, and she's in the new Expendables. It's really just about working with talented people. But I will say something. We'd been trying to develop the Expendables. Expendables, like a bell. Sorry, like a southern bell. That's like the play on the word there. A female version of the Expendables. My problem with that project was always trying to find a way to justify why we'd have a woman team. Instead of trying to explain that, why not just have women on the regular team that are badass? Instead of having to explain why a woman character got there and all that, you just do what you do with a man, show them kicking ass. I mean, that's, and that's fine. No one has a problem like with women being on the Expendables team. I would love to see uh, Djokovic on the team. She's done a lot of great action movies. The Resident Evil movies, you know, like, I, I don't think those are great, but she's shown that she has the chops for it. Uh, Fifth Element, great movie. And put her on the team. No one has a problem with that. You could even still do this synopsis here where you send the female Expendables in as call girls. And like I said, you have them fix it so the dudes can, like, stealth in too and help, and, you know, then you have your big takedown moment. That would work just fine. Uh, I don't think anyone complains about that, but I like what he says here. It's hard to justify doing a movie with just the women. Like, where are the men at? And I think it's smart that this movie has been canceled because it was going to flop hard. So as mentioned, Megan Fox is one of the handful of new cast members coming into the franchise for The Expendables 4, which is still in development. So that's where you're at now. Expendables 4, moving forward. I like the expendable movies actually. They're fun, dumb movies. Good good fun, dumb action movies. Uh kicking this project to the curb. Beautiful. So it seems that some studios are somewhat learning. We'll see how much they've learned. Probably not that much, but this is uh potentially something what would have damaged the expendables brand. This would have damaged it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys Think about this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, check out my Rumble and Locals. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.